Hey, I'm Terax, and welcome to another video. Uh, this video, we're going to be talking about the recently launched launcher by Ardix uh, Entertainment. It's basically the Ardix Games launcher. Uh, they're trying to future-proof all of their games by uh, putting into one launcher where they can probably, I don't know, try to get rid of Flash and stuff like that, and also just bring in one place where people can play all their games in uh, in just one in one place, which I think is good. Uh, good for them. It's probably going to help them out in the long run. This way, games people get introduced to uh, to their old games constantly, and those games will always have like some kind of player base, which I like. Uh, so first off, we're gonna I'm gonna launch it for you guys. It it launches relatively quickly. I'll just click on it, and boom. So it's very simplistic uh, in design. I kind of like that. So we have AQ Worlds, Epic Duel, uh, Dragon Fable, and MechQuest were originally on it when it first launched, but then they ran into some kind of bugs, some compatibility issues. So they're looking at that. They were looking at their, uh, any bug reports. Uh, also, yes, if you guys have any you know issues with the launcher, go to the Arctic support and you know let them know and let them know you're using the launcher. You know they don't have a crystal ball. Uh, Adventure Quest which was originally um they they said that it was you know having compatibility issues so that's com they said about a week uh, but dragon fail and MechQuest should have some patches or, or fixes whatever that should get them up and running this week you have oversoul and adventure quest 3d so what are some issues with the launcher so what's good about this is you have Ventricus Worlds, Epic Duel, Oversold. The only thing is uh, you have the option to actually play these games in full screen, uh, which is really nice. But I feel like some of these games were just not meant to be run in full screen. It's, uh, I'll show you real quickly. Ventricus Worlds, which I can show you how it actually works and how well it runs. So first off, let's just boot up Ventricus Worlds. So... What's great about this is they're actually listening to feedback. So this was originally, uh, I'm going to butcher this name, Gravelin, Gravelin, one of those two names. Uh, kind of like a little sexy alpha, and people are like, nope, we, we don't want that. So they're like, you know what, we'll change it. So they changed it to the uh, 13 Lords of Chaos, which uh, actually I like. It, it better represents the game, in my honest opinion. So first off, let's hit play. And it's going to launch in this. So basically, people pointed out that this is actually um, Flash. It's still on a Flash player. The other thing is it's not using a browser, nor is it using a Flash plugin, from what I can tell. So you're wondering why there's two of them. I'll show you why. So I'm going to full screen it so you can actually see it. And then we're actually going to full screen it even more. So you get this can actually be game captured, which if you have like OBS or something like that, you can totally game capture with this. Um, so let's go to yeah, it doesn't really matter. We're just doing this for a test. So we're gonna go to Galanoth. <coughs> now I'm gonna tell you why it wasn't meant to be <laughs> full screened. Is so the characters look amazing. I think the characters are really crisp, really clean, really bright. Uh, just, I don't know, just, they just look awesome, and then just the background just look really muddy, I can barely read, that says Armory Shop. Also, performance-wise, it lags a lot. This is, I'm like, I have nobody. And look at all that stuttering that's going on. That's actually happening. So you can, you can lower the settings. Uh, you can lower it to low. And you, you can get some, like, you know, it runs a little bit better. You just still get that stuttering, which I don't think is going to be fixed with the lowering of the visuals. But what's also funny about this is you could full screen the full screen. And it just look. And then if you actually turn it low, it. <laughs> Who's going to. Who would ever play on this? I wonder if anybody would ever play like that. screen so I thought that was kind of funny but yeah as you can see this it's just 
it's got some really bad frame ra frame rate issues, stuttering, and it's the official launcher. So it's it's a little worrying, but at the same time, it's in alpha, so I wouldn't I don't really care because it's gonna get fixed. But uh, we're gonna exit. And go back to the launcher. So yeah, I played it. I I did Epic Duel. Uh, that once again, that's another game that isn't really. It doesn't really run well in full screen. If they could fix the the, the resolution issue, uh, that would actually be amazing. Uh, as well as Oversoul, I'll show you. Play. So. Um, so watch this. And you obviously saw it, but... But, uh, yeah, so you can see the... It's in a window, but if you full screen it... This is stuff you're... I don't think you're supposed to see, but you can see it here. It's just... It's not that great. Whatever this black bar, like this black box, that's all you're gonna see when you're actually playing the game. Not that great, uh, you know... If they could fix that and have it f entirely full screen, uh, that would be amazing. I don't know if they're going to be able to do that, but if they can update it some way. Um, because just having it like this in this really s tiny screen, it just, it's just not really worth it, in my honest opinion. Um, but yeah, that's Oversoul. And then you have Adventure Quest 3D, which doesn't really run natively in the, br um, the launcher. But instead... Uh, it will launch through Steam, so they haven't really finished that yet. And then you have Hero Mart. So besides the resolution issues, because uh, I tried to do Blizzard. So this is the Blizzard, um, what's it called? This is their launcher. So you have games. Hold on, let's see if I can go home. Go to games. So this is theirs kind of similar <coughs> in but once again if you full screen it it's really nice really clean and then there's it's just it's basically just an image it doesn't really match the resolution of what you're doing if you if it's in full screen or if it's in a little box so <coughs> I'd like to see that fixed maybe in the upcoming weeks and of course um, well I'll show you is they also have a shop that you can go and you can buy stuff, buy games. If you can do this, you could be able to go, they have a shop and be able to upgrade and all your packages just without even going into the game. Um, <clears throat> just like this, that would also be good. And of course, Hero Mart, which br Hero Mart brings you to the website. I would love it if it just opened it up here. This way you don't have to like, I don't know, it's just a little bit more convenient uh, that way. Uh, but overall, it's, it's to be honest, it's just a working concept. I wouldn't call it, like, actually working right now. It's just, it's not finished at all. Once again, it's .001, that's the version. So not, not even, like, you know, they won't even call it version 1 yet. So it's an alpha. So I feel like once it gets up to version 1, it's probably have gone to so many updates and so many different patches and optimization and stuff like that. Uh, that it's going to be completely different than what you're seeing right now. So, <clears throat> I mean, take that as you will. Uh, to me, that I just know it, all this is going to be fixed. And in the next week, uh, in the, this week, uh, they're going to be updating the... It's going to have its first update, probably... Uh, releasing Dragon Fable and Mech Quest and hopefully Adventure Quest. So all the games are here except Hero Mart, Hero Mart, Hero Smash. Uh, <coughs> apparently that engine is very complicated. The engine that's running on, from what Alina said, it's very complicated, like Adventure Quest Worlds, more complicated than Adventure Quest Worlds. My voice is going. Sorry. <coughs> so yeah, it's gonna probably. Um, it would take forever. It would take just as long as they put Adventure Quest Worlds. And as much effort they put into Adventure Quest Worlds to get it running. And that would take a lot of time and a lot of resources and a lot of money to do that. So right now, just as it is. Um, and once again, if you find any of these games, you know, like Oversoul and Epic Duel. <coughs> if you like these games, 
or even mech quest and a lot enough people actually get to you know start playing them and playing them and everything they would you know they might start updating it every once in a while maybe like once a month or something like that but anyway that is the um that's the launcher i will be making more videos hopefully of every single time a new update comes out so i should be making a video when the next update comes out uh so look forward to that but anyway guys thank you guys so much uh for stopping by and i'll see you guys in the next video Peace.